Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the political system in the United States. Government in the United States divided into three major branches, the legislative and the judicial and the executive. This image summarizes the three branches. As you see, the legislative uh, divided to two branches, House of Representatives and Senate, the executive known also about the president and the vice president, the judicial known about as um, Supreme Court. First, I'm going to talk about legislative branch. Everyone knows that this building, it's the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C., which known as the Congress. So the Congress divided to two part, House of Representatives and House of Senate. Article 1 of the Constitution established this branch and gave the Congress the power to make law. I'm going to talk about the House of Representatives. House of Representatives uh, contains uh, 435 members. The, the members number based on the population of each state. Like here, um, in New Hampshire has two representatives and in Louisiana have two have seven representatives. So states with larger population have more representative representative than states with smaller population. Each member serves two years and uh, he can be elected again or choose another one. Um, the representative must be 25 years old, a citizen for at least seven years, and a resident of that state which he represents. Uh, the duty of a representative is to make people pay taxes. Now the House of Senate. It contains 100 members. Each state have two senators. Um, they serve six years, and they must be three, 30 years old, a citizen at least nine years, and resident in that state who represent uh, the House of Pres House of Senate uh, has a president. The president he is the vice of the president who has the formal control over all the Senate. The duty of the senators to say yes or no to any treaties the president can make. Also to say yes or no to any um, recommendation for jobs by the president. If the president wants to recommend one to be ambassador, uh, the improvement and the disapprovement um, came from the senators first. Again, yeah. Congress in general has power. The power of the Congress is to make law uh, and to make tax and borrowing money, approve the making of money, and can declare war on other countries. The other branch now is the judicial branch. Everyone knows this, I don't know if everyone knows this building, it's the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court is the highest court in the United States. Um, it's created by the Congress. And the main mission is to decide agreement about the meaning of law. Once the Supreme Court make a decision, it can only be changed by another Supreme Court decision or by changing in the Constitution. This is a very important power. Supreme Court is made up of nine justices, which appointed by the President and also approved by the Senators. 
the justice uh, have their job for for life unless they are resigned last but not least the executive branch which uh, represented by the president of the united states the president of the united states he is the head of the executive branch and he is the the major chief of this branch this branch also contain of the vice president who he is the person that helped the president and also the cabinet of members the cabinet of members and the heads of independent agency here I list all these terms and I defined it the president is the leader of the country and the command uh, the military the vice president um, president of the Senate as we know before uh, and becomes president if the president can no longer do do the job uh, the department department heads advise the president who also known as cabinet members they are a group of people who, who advise the president and help him a dependent agency help carry out the policy or provide special services executive branch this is the building who resembles uh, the executive branch which is the white house as i told before the president is the chief of the government that means he is technically the boss of every government worker the congress can make the law and the president he approved the laws that created by the congress the president and the vice president serves for four years and they can be elected again by entire country uh, the president must to be at least 35 years old and um, must be a natural born USA citizen uh, have lived in the US at least 14 years the candidate who uh, represent the self to be president divided to two parties Republican and Democrats the Republican parties this party originated in 1854 and their symbol is the elephant their color is red as you see now uh, the previous president of this party is Ibrahim Lincoln and Ronald Reagan George Bush the Democrat Party uh, this party originated in 1824 their sample is the donkey and their color is blue so we know the parties as red and blue in uh, you know how I'm now I'm talking about the blue is the Democrat previous uh, president from this party is um, John F Kennedy and Bill Clinton each party ha uh, stands for issues I listed here in this table uh, on tax and economic ideas the Republican Party uh, think it should be increased for anyone and the Democrat Party prefer to minimize the wake and uh, make higher tax for the higher incomes on death penalty 
the Republican stands on death penalty support and uh, the Democrat opponent this. Uh, there stand among a portion the Republican oppose the abortion and they want it to be unlegal. The Democrats support the abortion and they want it to be legal. The Republican oppose gay marriage and the Democrats support gay marriage. A Republican traditionally strong in Oklahoma, Kansas, and Texas states. Also, Democrats traditionally strong in California and Massachusetts. Their philosophy, the Democrats have liberal uh, philosophy and the Republicans have conservative philosophy. I list here um, the website of each party if you want to go there and read about them. Here I show the United States map and with color. As we know, the red color is for the Republican and the blue is for the Democrats. Here California is blue and Texas is red. Uh, the gray color is in between. They are not in here or not. They are not Republican or not Democrat. And The election based on those states who are in gray color, like Florida. Now, uh, I'm still in the executive branch. I'm going to talk about the president cabinet. They are the group who advise the, um, the president. Uh, the cabinet includes a vice president and 15 executive branch departments. Those are chosen by the, the president. Uh, the cabinet meet at least, at least once a week to discuss matters uh, and advise the president. The 14th secretary from the executive department uh, they cannot be in a member of co Congress or they cannot be also hold any elected office. Uh, the secretary uh, serves as long as the president is in office. Here's uh, the recent uh, picture of the president cabinet. Here's the president and the vice president. I'm gonna um, give an uh, example for the department agency. The Secretary of State uh, The Secretary of State is Hillary Clinton, which uh, work in the Department of State. This department established in 1789. She advised the President on foreign policy and maintain relationship between foreign countries and the United States, uh, negotiates ter treaties and agreements with foreign nations. Uh, she attend and speak in major international organization. Thank you. Uh, I hope everyone enjoy and uh, uh, get to new information in this topic.